Okay, first of all, YouTubers, stop sending these clowns your money. I see every every wannabe troll on YouTube is asking for money. And they all say they're under attack right now. They're all under attack and send me your money and they won't report on Plumegate. They won't report on the triple China syndrome meltdown. Right? Are you guys noticing this? The same ones that please send them your cash. Okay, buy you sinkhole, Bigfoot stuff and other. And they totally ignore the elephant in the room. A triple China syndrome meltdown in Japan. Plutonium in the Pacific Ocean. Uh, corium blobs melt down underneath the ground, underneath the bay. There's lava tubes now that the corium's melted through and created lava tubes. When they spray their water, it pours down these lava tubes and it all leaks into the ocean. And I tell you what, it wasn't long ago I asked people, I said, tell me who you get your news from on YouTube. And everyone was really up front with me and sent me all their connections and I subbed all these people and I started watching the news feed. I said, what's everybody getting on YouTube? Let's see how much level of control the establishment has on YouTube. Well, before it was all over, I said, wow, it's 95%. 95% of the YouTube channels are theirs. They own them. Please send me your cash. I have to report on Bigfoot this week. Please send me your cash. Everything is a hoax. Everything is a hoax. Okay? Please send me your cash. Bayou Sinkhole just grew another three feet wider. I need more money to not report on Plumegate. I need more money to not report on the NRC for you documents and more cash to not report on the Triple China Syndrome in Japan. It's not that big a deal anyway, is it? Not that big a deal, right? Okay, look, I want to read to you just briefly, and this is coming out of the Wall Street Journal, okay, which is mainstream, and again, this is propaganda and damage control. They'll give you a little bit bad and say, well, this little bit is bad, but, you know, it's kind of stabilized, right, which is absolutely the furthest thing from the truth possible. I'm just going to read you the headline because it pretty much says it all. Soaring radioactivity levels on coast of Fukushima plant. Nuclear material may have leached from melted fuel cores and into the environment. Let me be very clear with any &E news. The articles are propaganda. Any &E news is a controlled uh, website, establishment website. What's good about any &E news, yes, the trolls haunt any &E news, but what's good about it is the threads are pretty much controlled by normal human beings now. And my mom's a frequent visitor. Her comments are deleted when she comes back the next day. And that's how I know any &E news is controlled. And probably many of the legitimate uh, people that come to this website are quite aware of this. But in the threads, they run the trolls off. And down in the threads, you can get some good information. I want to read you one comment from here. And I'm going to leave it with you to take some time to think about who you get your news from on YouTube and why they are not reporting on this. Again, for those who are reporting on it, big tip of the hat to you, man. I have a lot of respect for those, and especially those that report on the FOIA documents that prove this massive multi-agency cover-up. Hundreds, if not thousands, should have already been indicted. But again, all these YouTube channels are working in concert to talk about anything but Plumegate, anything but the Triple China meltdown. Let me read you this comment right here. The sample from the whole number 1-1 has high tritium, 600,000 becquerels per liter, but take a look at the sample from the whole number 1-2. It has extremely high amount of all beta at 900,000 becquerels per liter. The sample also has higher amounts of cesium and other gamma nucleides compared to the sample from the whole number 1-1. And this is, he references a blog spot. You can go read on that. Goes on to say the damage to the Pacific Ocean from the Fukushima disaster is staggering in its scope. Imagine running a genetic experiment on all the plants and animals in Earth's largest ocean all at once and for hundreds of years. Make that thousands of years. What are the sources of the radiation contaminating the Pacific Ocean? Cooling water is dumped into the Unit 1, 2, and 3 reactor runs to cool fuel splatter left behind. The water flows out the bottom of containments 1, 2, and 3 into groundwater and also out of the Taurus basements. Groundwater flows through corium lava tubes left by the passage of corium 1, 2, and 3. Corium 1, 2, and 3 melted down into the mud rock, then out under the Pacific Ocean following layers in the mud rock. As corium 1, 2, and 3 melted under the harbor and ocean floor, radioactive steam and water flowed up through cracks in the seabed and into the ocean. Who will be affected? Millions of fishermen, including employees on factory ships, will no longer find customers for their fish. The Pacific Ocean fishery will suffer ongoing depression for thousands of years with billions in annual dollars lost. And that's a very accurate comment right now that I find to be very reflective of the real current situation in Japan. And again, I tell you, there's all evidence in these documents early on 
They knew how bad this was, and our government, our agencies, did their best to cover up and conceal the radioactive plume, the continued fallout. The cover-up's been ongoing. It's global in scope, and in these documents, it proves everything. It's proven, and that's why all these, not just YouTube accounts, now your websites, your Facebook uh, pages, your, you know, any of these alternative media outlets that are not focusing on this Fukushima is the story of our lifetime. There will be none bigger than this, folks. There's plutonium in the Northwest Pacific now, okay? And that's gonna that's a game changer. It's a game changer. You have to ask yourself why, I ask myself when I crank up my YouTube in the morning, look down the feed, why, uh, if it's not Kevin Blanche and Miss Milky or Red Button Studios, I happen to know who's talking about them. Nobody else is. They totally avoid it. Even when we condense the material and offer it to them where they can just grab it, put their name on it, and promote it, they won't touch it. They, now, they want you to send them money. They want you to send them money. Okay? So I'm asking you, don't send them money. There's a homeless guy down the street from you that probably needs some help. You could just drive by and you know, buy him some food, give him 20 bucks, whatever. But stop sending these guys your money because it's an infiltration. None of them have your best. If they had your best interest at heart, they would report on the worst of the worst. Can we agree on that? And can we agree that right now a triple China syndrome meltdown? Gosh, there ain't, there's none, there's nothing worse than that. I'm telling you, even if there was like a hundred Bigfoots organized together with a heavy assault equipment planning to overthrow our government, that still probably wouldn't. Even if you had a hundred Bigfoots heavily armed who were planning to uh, take an armory and then move to Washington and take the White House. Even that's not a bigger story right now. Even if it was Bigfoots and the Nazi aliens from the South Pole were backing them up. All right? All right. Let's start getting silly, folks. It's time I turn it. Turn it off and give my wife a rest in the morning. 